What's going on everybody? My name is Rico. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to use a mask on your photo in Darktable for Instagram. I'm sure you guys are very busy, so let's just start straight away. And let's get started. So let's change this image into this. So we're changing the color of the car. That's the main theme of today. And then I'm going to apply my own uh, preset on it. So let's reset everything. I'm going to deselect the uh, snapshot. Going back to this one. And I'm going to the original one. Compress history stack and everything I've done to turn this picture into this picture is now gone So now we have to start from scratch Darktable has an awesome thing called a parametric mask and I'm going to show you guys how that works First we are going to the channel mixer module If you don't have this module, please go to more modules and it will be somewhere down here below Close it down. Let's open it up and I want to mask out the car because I want to keep the yellow in her clothes. I want to keep her face as is, her hair as is, everything in the background as is. So I'm going to isolate the car. And how to do that is to create a mask. And we're going to start with the drawn mask. So we are going to use the drawn and parametric mask because we are going to use both of them in this image. So let's click it. And now these are the options that you have. And I'm going to use the add path tool to add a path here on the car. So I'm going to select the car. If you don't know how it works, click once, click twice, and then just select the entire image. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to fast forward this till the point that I'm done. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And now I've got everything selected. And if you want to see what's being selected, you can press this little symbol right here and it turns everything into yellow. Uh, this is because we have drawn this mask, but I don't want it to be like this. So that's where the parametric mask comes into play. We are going to press this little eyedropper icon right here and we are going to select this yellow color. You can drag it anywhere you like. I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to the U1. This is the gray uh, lightness, red channel, green channel, blue channel, U and saturation. So these little stripes right here tell you where the color is that we've selected. So this is the output and this is the input. And because I want to know exactly what I'm doing, I'm going to switch on this mask because now I can see what will happen to the picture. I'm going to bring this in. There you go. The top one is the color selector and the bottom one is like a mask blur. If I drag it all the way up here, you see that stuff is changing right here in the headlights. I don't really want that, so I'm bringing it back in. And same goes for the left side. I'm going to bring it in as close as I can to the lines. Now you see that some parts of the car aren't being masked out. So I'm going to drag the lower one to soften it up a little bit. There we go, I think this looks fine. There we go, maybe just a little bit more. And I think this looks fine for now, for the sake of the tutorial. And now we need to change this car into a red color because that's what we've got in this picture right here. And you can do that very easily by going to the U channel and let's change this by one step. I'm just going to scroll the mouse button one time. If I go back again, now it's on zero. If I push it away from me, it becomes 0 0.005. And as you can see, the car has now turned red. Right, so it still doesn't look like this. Reason being is because I have applied my own preset on this picture after I've turned the car red. If you don't know how that works, I'm going to put a link over here where you can see how you create your own style and your own preset here in Darktable. So let's apply my own preset. You can do that by going to the symbol right here. Quick access for applying any of your styles. I'm going to choose the orange and teal one. And there you go. Now it's automatically being added to the history stack. It's automatically being added to the image. But what has happened is 
I still see a little bit of yellow over here. So something must have gone wrong with the parametric mask. So let's have a look. Yeah, there you go. Here you see that a few bits of the car aren't being selected. So I'm going to see if I can bring them back by dragging this lower one to the right side. And now I'm going to switch off the mask again. There you have it, maybe a little bit more to get rid of the yellow hair in the shadows. And there you go. Now the image has changed completely. I'm going to take another snapshot and I'm going to go back to the original, press the snapshot. This is the original image. This is the new image and I think it looks stunning. And that's it. That's how you use a parametric mask in Darktable to just change one specific color. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below. And there's just one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time, doei!